Hello everyone, this is Panther from Gaming Art Craft. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like the videos that I'm offering, just go ahead and subscribe. Um, also, you can put likes and comments down below if you have any questions about Copper Cube 6.5.1. Um, today, I'm going to do a small little tutorial on troubleshooting on reverse polygons. Um, a lot of Copper Cube users or developers, um, the issues that they experience in Copper Cube is kind of sometimes hard to explain once you just message someone. So I'm just going to demonstrate uh, a simple tutorial on how to fix your reverse polygons. Um, when your reverse polygons, when your polygons come in, maybe you have your FSP arm on the right hand with the gun, and once you import it into Copper Cube, it goes into the left. So um, I'm going to show you and demonstrate to you how to fix that. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. Um, what we have here is um, uh, a project that I'm working on. Um, I don't have a name for it right now, but um, I'm just working on it. It's an FPS game, another FPS game that I'm working on. Um, uh, hold on. I'm going to open up Blender. Open up Blender. Okay. So I'm opening up Blender. So I'm going to show you a FPS animation of a flamethrower. Okay. Now, when you look at this flamethrower, um, you're going to see how the animation is set up. But once it comes into play and you import it into Copper Cube, it reversed the polygons and a lot of people like what happening what can I do to fix this it's on the wrong side so I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna go into import um, I think this is a FBX I'm not 100% sure give me one minute so I can find everything texture okay so I'm gonna show you the XPX file of a FPS flamethrower and um, Blender. So you see right here, this is uh, the XPS file of the uh, flamethrower of uh, it's a FPS file of um, of a flamethrower. So in here, you see the arm is on the left hand holding the handle of the flamethrower. I'm gonna play the animation so you can see how it looks. There you go. That's the animation of it. How that's how the way it works. And that's it, you know. That's the animation of it. Now, um keep in mind, sometimes if you import the whole entire um FBS file, um what you're going to get is your flamethrower is not going to be in uh, in the uh in the FPS hand. So sometimes what you have to do is, um, what I do is I delete the uh, the gun itself, right, and just put in just the the the, the FPS arm. You know, I delete all this, get all this out of here, delete the um the flamethrower, you know, and then so you just only have the arm. As long as you have the arm and it's animated, it's fine, you know. So after uh after completing that and you have the arm and all that stuff um drop the frame to 200 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into file and you're gonna export fps okay and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna create your own um file for just only the arm itself so um i go back in my folder i got it here which uh, is called arm underscore flame. That's just for the arm itself. All right. So once you complete that and got the arm out, then um, you just hit undo. Control Z, Control Z to bring the flamethrower back. You know, bring everything back into play. There you go. So the flamethrower is back. Got everything back into play. Okay. Uh, 
uh, back to 200. So, again, bring the flamethrower back. You got it back into play. All right, flamethrower's back. You got it back into play. All right. Now, um, so if you just want just the flamethrower itself, so what you have to do is uh, delete the the armature animation, delete the polygons of the arm, and then just export the flamethrower itself. So what I do is uh, once I do that. Um, I'm going to create just the uh, flamethrower itself. Here's the file for it, flamethrower. So that's in there. And you're going to import both of these these uh, these uh, polygons in separate. Um, the arm is going to be animated mash. And the flamethrower itself is going to be static mash. So once you complete that, then you have your FPS arm and then you have your gun or flamethrower, whatever you want to call it, as a attachment knob. Um, you could check out attachment knob on my, my video channel that I explain how to do attachment knobs. It's on my YouTube channel. So if you want further information on attachment knobs, it's on my YouTube channel. Um, let's continue. So I don't have to save this. Um, I'm just going to close it out because I have the full file for it. Okay, so now that I have my flamethrower in, um, I'm going to go import animated mesh. Uh, okay. So I'm going to import it. So there it goes. This is my arm. It comes in separate. Um, let me put some texture on it. It never, it never kills the texture because the texture is separate. So, um, there you go. You see the arm? It's there. Now, here's the thing. Um, when when it was in Blender, the arm was on the left. And uh, holding the handle of the flamethrower was on the right. Am I correct or wrong when y'all saw it? If y'all want to run back and see it, you look at it. That he was holding the handle on the left hand. And he was holding the he was holding the, the flamethrower on the right the trigger he was holding the trigger of the flamethrower on the right and he was holding the handle on the left so this is called reverse polygons so most of the people when they have issues with their um with their character or their animation how can you fix this so I'm gonna show you right now because the thing is once the um the flamethrower comes in um, as an attachment knob. It needs to be on the right side. So this is how the way you fix it. So you have the animated mesh right here. Um, right now, I haven't set up the uh, animation yet, but there it is. You can see it and all. So what I'm going to do is here on scale. And as simple as that, you just hit negative on the one. Once you hit negative on the one, which is the Z, you're gonna enter, it flips it. Now, now that it flipped the um, the flamethrower, uh, moving the, the hand handle on the left and the trigger on the right, now you see it gives you like a weird texture because the thing is your texture is in and out. It kind of reverse your texture around. If you see it, it reversed the texture around. So how can you fix that when it reverse the texture? So you go into materials, scroll down to advanced settings, and you click double side materials. There you go. And it fixed the reverse, it fixed the textures. Now you have to put the um the flamethrower in. Will the flamethrower show on the right or will it show on the left? We don't know. And we're gonna find out right now. So we import static mash, 3D mash. Um, we add the flamethrower. There you go. So uh, let me get texture for the flamethrower. 
there you go so I'm gonna rotate it fix the rotations put it at 180 to make it face forward okay um, flip it a little bit there you go put that at 90 negative 90 there you go move it down move it towards the hand so we can get it into position now you see where once you get in position pretty much it's explanatory you do the attach you do the attach um no and then you make sure that the flamethrower is in the hand so um let me go ahead and get it somewhere in position right and then all i have to do is tilt this a little bit so now so what i do now is go animate a mash um modify selections uh, hold on animate a mash modify selections um attach no to animated joint okay so which one do i want to use so right now it's on the right hand so what I'm going to do is add it um, to, 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 to the wrist. I could do wrist or palm, either one. So I'm gonna do the palm. Once I do the palm, it's gonna show the, the animated knob right here. And then the flamethrower is gonna be the child knob. So I attach the flamethrower to the to the child knob now it gets it somewhere in position where it's going to move but you see what it did right now it reversed the um it reversed the the um the polygons of the flamethrower and there's a reason why it reversed it because the thing is that the flamethrower fps arm is the parent and the flamethrower is the child so because that is reversed on the animated mash now i have to reverse it on the gun same way so negative one it flips it and then you go back in materials advanced settings click double side it fix the materials now so somewhere it is close to attachment of the flamethrower you see and how the way it moves so it's getting really close there. So I'm going to push it down, get it inside the arm, the hand, get it right there, somewhere in between. Get it uh, uh, But pretty much you have a good understanding, right? Um, let's see what I can do here. Uh, uh, let's see. We gotta look at it so right now if you look at the arm I put the the red capsule in separate guys but um, now you see the arm then let's go to let's go to uh, um, the animation editor and let's fix it All right, let's see what happens. So let's fix it. There it goes, you see? So you got the FPS arm in position, uh, slightly in position, but it's getting there. And you see the arm is holding the handle. So that's how you fix and you troubleshoot your issues with with um, reverse polygons in, in your game. And it's pretty simple, guys. So now that i showed you i'm going to do a little example so you can see so i already created this guys i'm just going to delete that it's already created in here um it's already attached to a camera now that you see it this is the full version of it um i'm going to play a little bit of it so to show you how the way it really works so check it out
there you go you see so this is how the way it looks with the hand and I walk and that's how the way it looks so I'm gonna I already have like a um I have a fire particle system attached to the flamethrower with the noise so I'm gonna show you There you go. And that's how the way you do your flamethrower and all that stuff. So what do you think guys? And that's how you do troubleshoot reverse polygons. Thank you guys for checking out my channel. Um, make sure you put likes and comments down below if you want to see more channels channels um, you know always if you want to see a tutorial on additional things in copy cute please feel free to reach out um, you can put comments down below and say you want to request another tutorial or anything um, make sure you join the Facebook group of learn copy cube or copy cube 3d engine uh, make sure you join the, the discord group um, and check into um, 